straight away I was thinking about the positive aspects of it. And I think that it might actually be um, a sort of a compulsion to make imagery. It might make that compulsion stronger by not having them in my head to begin with. So I was talking to another artist friend of mine who she has incredibly strong powers of visual imagination and memory and she says often she's standing in front of the canvas and can pre-visualize the whole picture taking place and see exactly where it's going to go and even you know how it's going to alter through the process of making it and so on which for me like well I'm kind of like if you can do that why then paint it because you've already done it whereas for me the the purpose of painting is not one of fixing a pre-existing idea into a physical form but it's totally about discovery and finding something that I had no idea could exist or was in there somehow before it appears in front of me in paint or charcoal or whatever it is. I think that there's one part of art experience I suppose where I feel uh, the lack and that's when people talk about kind of painting from their memory and I know lots of people who you know their visual memories are a huge source of imagery and ideas for their work and that's often quite a kind of personal and poetic and beautiful thing because memories are like that. So that's one of the things I feel I kind of wish I could do in a way. But yeah, it's, it pushes me in another direction which is that rather than being sort of autobiographical, the work is kind of allegorical of things that are um, there's personal feeling but they're more universal sort of ideas than than kind of memories or anything rooted in any real experience.